We should probably head back to the, uh, the village, but it looks like I can't just yet. Gotta go through Lizard Rock South, and... Um... What happened to all the beach bombs? These aren't beach bombs. This hole still exists. Oh, there's a new chest here. Oh, sweet. So it's found a feather. Very cool. So did all the stuff reappear? Well, we didn't get a chest here. I do think we should probably circle around though and try to figure out if there's anything new beyond well, beyond the obvious, which is the monsters, right? We did get some new growth, so we may be able to increase our stats a little bit more. I honestly don't know how that works. Like I said, it seems very random, and I'm not sure how random it is. Okay, well, this guy's guarding this chest, but we can get a bone. All right. Hi. Bye. This guy's not running from me. Well, that's really weird. I don't think we can get any more Komodo things from him now, but I figured I might as well give it a shot, right? I mean, these guys aren't that bad to uh, hunt. And now that I know they're not flightless birds, I am more than happy of taking out the reptiles. Did I say how much I love this music? It's so good. Okay, we got some feather and bones. Um, it, it does seem like, you know, fighting enemies, even though there's no experience or you know, stats. Um, fighting enemies is actually not a bad waste of time because you do get stuff, you know, uh, items that you need to make weapons and armor and all the other cool stuff. So I do think we need to fight. Oh, there's blue ones. No, wait, we've seen these guys before. These are the guys with the, uh, the beach bombs. They're really, really weak. There's one down. And he missed. Let's hit the other one. And we should be able to drop this guy without taking a hit because of that miss. Perfect. Gotta love that music. Seriously. HP and strength up. Nice. So, uh, so trying an ivory helmet, which is, yeah. Let's see, is there anything in here? Not really. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take on one of these fishies here. See if they drop anything new. Check them out, see what they're all about. A miss. Of course a miss. I should have a miss counter in this game. No, I'm not going to, because that would take forever, but I really wish I had some sort of counter to document how many 84 Look at that, we missed another 84%. Ah. I swear, the reason I don't play XCOM is because of percentage hit miss chances. You know, if this keeps up, I may not play Chrono Cross. Okay, I'm still gonna play Chrono Cross. I have committed myself to playing this game. It's just, that's so frustrating. It's just so frustrating. <laughs> um, we have Cape Howe and the village and the south. So besides some enemies changes, um, everything seems to be normal. Let's head back to the village. Uh, we're looking for Lena and She's up by the pier, right? We've already talked to everyone before. Don't think they would have anything new to say. Yippee! Yeah, it seems... It seems like yesterday didn't even happen because everything's happening exactly as it happened yesterday. 
Hi, Lena. You know, I almost called her Pina from uh, Grindia. Who are you? Oh, come on. I'm Serge. You know me. Have we met somewhere before? Are you from Termina? Hey, hey, yeah, you. Don't be trying to pull any moves on Alina, you jerk. Don't be silly. Don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha. I'm so confused right now. Um, kids. I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about them. Hmm, you know, you look a lot like the boy who used to live next door to me. Uh, what was his name? Why? Why do you want to know his name? Okay, why are we getting sad music? That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened 10 years ago. Soon after, his mother passed away too. I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well. But my mom says his name was... Serge. Okay, what the living heck is going on right now? Um, I'm Serge. I didn't die. My mom did die. We're all alive. Yeah, shake your head. Uh, I'm Serge. That's right. All the dots. You're Serge? Oh, stop that. That's not even funny. The boy is dead. Don't you understand? That boy. I guess I kind of liked him. If that boy was still alive today, I wonder what would have become of us. It sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Serge is going to come back. Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on a lost loved one. I am. All the dots. You can find his grave up on Cape Pal. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. Well, I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up at you like that. Goodbye, stranger. Okay, what what, what is going on? How, how does she not know me? How are we dead? Um, how are we back into Virtue Last Reward? I mean, I am so confused. Like, so confused. Why is it I'm always picking games like this on my channel? Uh, hi, do you remember me, fisherman? Ah, zzz. That tranquil sound of the waves does it to me every time. It makes me so sleepy. Do you know me? Hello, do you know me? I bet the lullaby we heard in our mother's wombs was kind of like this. One day, we will all be turned to the mother sea, embraced by our lullaby. Uh, okay? That's kind of morbid. Uh, hello, do you know me? Hi. The pier's up ahead. Listen, don't be doing any mischief to them boats. A boat is like a limb to our fishermen. But I guess outsiders like you want to understand. Outsiders, I grew up here. This is my village. Hey, uh, Lena's sister. Hey, newbie, you find my sister yet? You all right? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 don't know. Hi, do you remember me? Hey, hey, stranger, do you know what's popular around the village girls these days? Yes, uh, Komodo bracelets. A bracelet made from a rainbow shell. I want to get some for Kiki, but those shells are so hard to find. Oh no, if I didn't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Boy, mine fix. Wait a second, you did not say that last time. Last time you were talking about Komodo, uh, bracelets or necklaces or something, but it wasn't rainbow shells. It definitely was not rainbow shells. What is going on here? Uh, hello? I can't copy on my son anymore. He hasn't worked in years. There was a time when he had his heart set on becoming a man of the sea, just like his old man. But look at him now, praying to that silly looking doll day and night. What has gotten into him? Praying to a doll? That sounds creepy. 10 years ago, my husband friend lost a son. The boy drowned at sea at the tender age of seven. And soon after, the boy's parents passed away too. Such a sad turn of events. That's when my husband changed. 
Never did I imagine you would end up like this. His way of life has changed completely. All the dots. Daddy always spends his time downstairs. He won't play with me. And he gets real mad if I go down there too. He didn't used to be like that. I bet he doesn't like me anymore. Aw, of course your daddy loves you. Hey, isn't this the guy that was talking about, you know, hey, I wonder what another me would have been like? Oh. Okay? That is... This has to be the creepiest room in existence. There's a cute little cat here. There's... He felt a beam of light from Lazily the cat. Not. Nah. Okay, this is weird. We received a secret lickaroo from Licky the cat. Not. Nah. Oh, this is creepy. This is like some Shadow Hearts level of creepiness. God, I need to play that game again. So many I had to play. Uh, hello? Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the far east. Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. How our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Hours spent yesterdays in an uncertain tomorrow. How we live a meaningless today. This holy item filled with the prayers of people today, protects us and supports us. Come, my brother. Let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. Okay, you are so creepy. Where can you find true love and peace of mind? Within Mojo. I am, I am so confused right now. No answer. It seems to be just a straw doll. That straw doll is the creepiest straw doll I've ever seen. And these cats, and this guy, and this cat is adorable, but everything else in this room is just so very creepy, I don't know what to say. How do we go from playing a charming, like, charming, fun little game like Grandia to playing a game so trippy as Chrono Cross? I don't know, this, I, I don't think we could play two more opposite games right now. Uh, let's go in here. This year's Viper Festival is going to be some event. They're going to have a famous minstrel band there. You see that post over there? He's the lead guitarist and vocalist of the band. He dresses flamboyantly, but he drives the woman mad, young and old. He puts on a powerful show, too. Wait. There used to be a really beautiful babe here. And now it's... a flamboyant guy. Yeah, yeah, that's... well, that's... That's exactly where he is. Humana, 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 what a hunk. This here is Nikki from the Magical Dreamers. As luck would have it, Nikki is holding a concert in the port town of Termina. There is a heaven on earth. It pays to live in old age. I can't believe I'm actually going to hear Nikki's beautiful voice. Wait, was the other woman Nikki? Did Nikki just get... changed? Um, whoa, stranger, don't tell Gramps about this. I am so confused right now. Hi, kitty, at least the cats are still adorable. Imagine if all the cats were replaced with dogs or, um, snakes or something like that. That would be really creepy. Hello. Yo, stranger, have you heard of anything about them group of thieves on the mainland? Uh, I have, but are they different now? Uh, you haven't heard, eh? Where are you from, stranger? It's pretty big news, even down here in El Nido. Those mysterious thieves have broken into a bunch of houses up on the mainland. They're cold-blooded bastards. They'll go to any extreme to get money or jewels. Even the powerful nation of Poi can't seem to get a hold of them. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've, uh, had this conversation before. I think they call themselves the Radical Dreamers. Wouldn't want to run into those bandits. At least we know something stayed the same. Hi there, haven't seen you around here before. Are you from Termina? So how's it going over there? I bet everyone's really excited about the Viper Festival. What? My poems? What are you talking about? I gave up on them ages ago. It was just a stupid dream I was obsessed with. I never did have any talent. But how did you know about that? Nobody knows about my poetry. It really doesn't matter anymore whether I'm writing poems or not. Nobody would give a hoot about someone writing poems in a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere, huh? But just remember, dreams do come true. Humph. Do you honestly believe that? 
We live in the middle of nowhere, in this tiny village leading small lives. Nothing's ever going to change, no matter how hard you try. That's just the reality of it all. All the dots. Sigh. So wait. The cook is now a woman who is supportive of the girl. Whereas in the other reality, I'm pretty sure the cook was a man who was talking down to the girl because of her dreams. I have. This game is just... I I'm, I'm fascinated, though. I will say, this is a very interesting uh, story hook. And I want to know what's going on. Uh, hello, can I talk to you? I can't talk to you for some reason. Could talk to the other cook? Oh, well. Let's go upstairs and see if we can rob her just like we robbed the other version of her. No! There's no... Aha! There's the chest. Search out a tablet. Yay! We got a tablet, you guys. I'm so excited. Aw, aren't you just so adorable? Oh, look at you. Oh, you're following me around now. Oh, you're just so adorable. The cat is literally following me around. I love that. Okay, uh, here's a pot. No answer, it's just a pot. No! The worst thing they could have done. They changed the barrel to a pot. Oh, the Atelier fan in me just died a little. Oh, that's so sad. Man. Oh, this place is a nightmare. How dare you take away the barrel. Hello, can I interest you in something? I have some good amulets. Would you like to take a look? Uh, show me your weapons and armor. Let's see here. Uh, we have a spatula and a ivory dagger. Neither one of them, um, neither one of them are things we can use. Now we can make an ivory mail, but we already have it equipped. And the ivory vest is worse than the ivory mail. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not coming again to your shop unless you have something better. Looks like it's gonna be a no scorcher today. I haven't rained in a while. I don't know how much longer us old timers can stand this heat. By the way, I wonder if those knights are still digging that hole. I don't know what those terminal knights are up to. I hear they're digging up in Fossil Valley. I'm sure General Viper has a good reason. But why would they want to dig up a place like that? Wasn't General Viper, like, missing in the other world? And what happened to- Oh, no! What happened to giant, uh, fish? Was it a sawfish? Whatever it was. The giant fish is gone. Have you heard anything about the El Nido Triangle down south? Everyone says it's really creepy over there. Some say you can hear strange voices. Some even claim to have seen a huge glowing egg down below. I tell you, adults are so superstitious. They try to act all tough, but the kind of that ki this kind of stuff scares them. Uh, I I'm, I'm kind of scary too right now. I mean, I'm kind of scared too right now. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Erg! I just haven't been able to hit a big one lately, you know? I'm not really concerned about the money or profit. I just had this urge for a challenge. Come on, baby. I know you're out there. I need some excitement. Give me a big catch. Let's go check our house, shall we? Aw, aren't you little adorable little guy? Where's my cat at? Where are my cats? Hey, I want my cats back. Someone give me my cats. Oh, hi, little guy. What are you doing here, man? This is my island. Well, I'll let you rest here for a little while, man. Wait, is the reptile talking to me? Okay, I'm... I'm... Why are you talking to me? This is really, really creepy. Can we, uh, open this place up? It's kind of dark. There we go. Is so there anything back here? Oh, there is. So trying to magma bomb. Ooh. I have no idea what that does, but I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Uh, let's go check it out. It's, it's probably an element. Uh, magma bomb. Launches a valley of fireball at foes. It's an AoE. Um, it takes a level 2 spot, so we can put it there. Uh, heal restores HP small. But we kind of have a cure here. Oh, we can put one below, but it gets a negative. Ah. Now that's interesting. I think that's actually not a bad idea. Um, get two cure spells. 
Uh, we have two cure spells, we have an AoE spell, and we have a single target spell. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. Huh? Who the? What are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids, alright? Go play outside. I wasn't expecting someone to come in here. Huh? Who? Merge? Who the heck is that? I just said merge. Marge! Who the heck's that? I've lived in this house for five years now. Sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. Whatever with all whatever with all your gibberish, man. Just get out of here. Alright, alright, I'm sorry for trespassing. You know that's literally what you do in every single RPG, you trespass in people's homes, and yet you're the hero of the world? It's kinda of funny. Oh yeah, and do steal this stuff. I said I don't know. Jeez, you're such a pest. I've never heard of any Surge or Marge, okay? Maybe you hit your head in the wrong place or something. Yeah, maybe this is another dream we're having. That could always be true too. It's all just a dream! Uh, a lot of video games end that way. Actually, I don't know of any video games that end that way. I know a lot of movies that end that way. Uh, this is my house. Keep out and beware of mad hecklons. Me have embarked on a wrong journey. Please do not come looking for I. Thirst if, oh yeah, okay, I already read that. Horribly, poorly, but I already read it. Oh, hi little kitty. That reminds me, there was a boy who lived next door who was terrified of cats. But that was more than 10 years ago. That boy was attacked by a panther demon when he was very young. I guess it left an emotional scar. Poor, poor boy. No one ever imagined such a tragedy would take place several years later. So, the surge of this, whatever this is, is actually me. Because we were also attacked by a cat. I remember her telling us that. Greetings, Sunny. You a new face in the village? A friend of Lena, perhaps? Uh, you'll find Lena out, out there on the pier, babysitting. Ah, uh, what is going on with this game? I guess we could always check out the Elder as well before we head to... Um, our next destination, which is our grave. That's really creepy. I got some grave concerns about the way this game is going. There's just a cat up here. Oh, hi little kitty. You're so cute. Uh, oh, it's not following me around now. Is there anything like over here though? Like some secret hitting in the bush? You know you've been playing role-playing games for a long time. When you literally run around an entire area, even though there's nothing here. Clicking randomly, just hoping to find something. Oh, there's a house over here. I never knew there was a house over here. I guess I'm not that good at well playing games after all. Okay, there's a bunch of people standing in line for that. We'll, we'll go by these two people first. You're a new face around here. We don't get too many visitors. My name's Gonji. I'm the chief of Arnie. Why don't you stay and rest a while? Can't offer any extravagant entertainment. Or make yourself at home. Said a lot like Deku Kane, by the way. Yes? You want to see the chief? Huh? Radius? Who's that? Gonji is our chief. There's no one by that name here. You must be mistaken. What happened to Radius? Every time I come to a decision, I always wonder what would happen if I had decided the other way. Maybe I should have done this instead of that. Maybe I made the wrong decision. But luckily, we have the record of fate. It tells us exactly what choices to make. I can't imagine life without it. Every day would be filled with anxiety and fear. Can I look at this? Guess not. The only thing the record of fate doesn't touch upon are life and death. I don't mind really. I don't think I really want to know. More importantly, what should I see first at the festival in Termina? Should I go catch Nikki's concert? The mermaid dance show? Hmm, what to see? I would definitely check out the mermaids. Definitely, 100%. That's right, the record of fate records everything for us, good or bad. So when the time comes for us to bid adieu, our life story will live on in the record of fate. Think about how terrible it would be if you left this world with no record of your very existence. Is that like a save point? Just between you and me, our chief, Gonji, is really stingy. I can't cook a decent meal if I don't have fresh and quality ingredients. And then he complains about the terrible food taste. I can't stand it. Okay, well, I can't really help you with that, to be honest. Well, there's only one place left to go. That's to our grave. Man, that's just so creepy to say out loud. Alright, let's go up here. Come down here. 
And we'll head to the cape. You know, last time we were here, didn't we see someone that said, uh, Surge and Lena, you know, forever or something like that? Alright, well, we got the beach bones back. At least that's normal. We also got steam blowing me backwards a mile. That's kind of creepy. So we're trying to electro jolt. Sounds like an element, but right now I'm kind of good with the elements that we have, you know? Search found a bone. I got a bone to pick with this place, that's for sure. All right, let's uh, let's head up here and check out our grave. There's some writing on this tombstone. R.I.P. Our beloved Surge died age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. So you must be Surge, the ghost of the boy who died 10 years ago. Who is talking? How do you know me? How do you know? Who are you? Don't move. It's no use. There's no escape that way. All you have to do is come with us. But, Sir Karsh, do you think it's truly that... Do you think it is truly true that this chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly young boy to me. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here, just as he said we would. Didn't we? Now, seize him. Oh, the seahorses. Okay, now who is talking? Going through like character, character, character. Oh, it's her. She does exist. Who the? Out of the way, Missy. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? Oi! Shut your trap! You're the ones who better get out of the way. You have a problem? Do you have a shaken idea who you're dealing with, Missy? That's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else. This axe of mine will have to do the talking. For crying out loud, would you just shut up and get on with it? I don't know why I just suddenly made her Irish. I'm gonna kick your sorry butt so hard, you'll kiss the moons. Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. Alright, well, let's... First boss battle? I'm so glad we just picked up the Magma Bomb ability, because considering there's three of them... <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that's so great. So we're fighting Karsh, Peppor, and Salt. Yes, we're fighting Salt and Pepper. I just... Oh, thank you, game. That That's just wonderful. Uh, let's start by hitting Pepper here. I'm gonna go for her. Got interrupted. Sir, is it innately innate element color attribute is white? Is innately innate element. That's quite a mouthful. Right, that does it. Quick. Attack him with the opposite element attribute color, black. How unfortunately unfortunate. I do not seem to have any, sir. You need a poop. You should always carry elements of every color. Then, how about you there? I am shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. Well, I'll have to let you know, Sir Karsh. Show us how it's done. Uh, oh, these useless fools. Yeah. 
Real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. Wait, so does that mean he probably doesn't have any either? That'd be kind of funny if he doesn't. Uh, dang it, he broke my combo. Ooh. Swing an axe at me. Let's go ahead and uh, light these guys up, shall we? Not bad, not bad. Oh, that was pretty good. All right, kid. I assume that's your name, kid, because that used to be your name. You're just showing up as girl, but I think your name is kid because when I look at you, I see the name kid. All right. She misses, of course she misses because we can't seem to hit an 87% in this game. Uh, you got a lot of red stuff, don't you? Fireballs, fireballs, and magma bombs. Well, let's hit a... You know, actually, let's hit a fireball. Because if I can make it fully red, then the magma bomb will do more damage. Although, consider we just, you know, took one of these guys down. It's probably better to use magma bomb now and fireball later. Uh, let's go ahead and defend so we can get some stamina back. Uh, you defend as well. Uh, do you have any fire spells left? No, you do not. Alright, uh, why don't you hit the big guy, Karsh? Hey, we hit an 85%! And then, of course, we got interrupted, so our attack, uh... You know, I'm just gonna go for it. Yay! Can't believe it, we actually made some progress on that one. Uh, I'm gonna have you... Do a two. Of course you miss. 75%! And you miss! Where? All right, we hit him that time. Good. Uh, let's do a magma bomb here, and then we can do a power to fireball on Karsh himself. Yes, took out one of his goons. Let's go for a double triple. Okay, we hit one. I guess you know odds are that's not a bad thing. All right, souped up fireball. Let's see what you got. Nice. Actually, I thought we'd do a lot more damage, but nice. See the star. Surgeon friends reached a new growth level. HP plus five, strength plus one, and HP plus eight, strength plus one. We got a new party member. Sweet. We also got a bone axe, and iron vest, and copper. Sir Karsh, I say we uh, shake it out. I say we shake it on out of here. Shake, his name is Pepor. <laughs> oh, I love these two. They're so good. So Sir Karsh, I say we shake it out, shake it on out of here so that we can live to fight another day. That these aren't no ordinary brats we're dealing with. Darn cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Oh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on any time. Think I'll lose to scum like you? Ha! You all right, mate? I like how it does like a little crunch there. Serge, your name's Serge, ain't it? All the dots. Oh, me? My name's... Yes, you are a kid. By the way, um, it's my policy that because I'm a story-based game channel, I always like to leave the story as intact as possible and as complete as possible, which means I don't like to change names when I'm playing for story reasons. So, kid is going to stay kid. Call me kid. Nice to meet ya. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. They just ticked the bloody heck out to me. I wish I could have beat them up some more. But why was that mob after you? I don't know. What do you mean you never even met them before, eh? Ah, forget it.
Hey, Serge, how about you and me team up for a while? That Karsh fella ain't gonna leave it alone, that's for sure. And to tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's perfectly li lonely traveling around here on my own. Hee <laughs> hee. So, how about it, Serge? Perhaps it was fate that we would meet up like this. Travel together? Refuse. Wait, we can refuse to travel? Really? So what happens if you refuse? Do you open up like different characters? If you refuse, do you just go back to the screen? That's very interesting. Um, Is this like a Star Ocean or a Star Ocean 2? Star Ocean 2 had this thing where if you recruited one person, it would lock out another person that you couldn't recruit anymore. And if we don't travel with her, then maybe we don't kill her in whatever dream we saw. But if we travel together with her, maybe we can stop whatever dream it was that saw her killed. Uh, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit refuse uh, for two reasons. One, because if we dream that we killed her, then maybe by refusing to travel together, we'll change that horrible timeline that showed us killing her. And two, I want to see what happens if we do hit refuse. Uh, will it just bring us back to this chat? Or do we have to go find her in the village? Oh, I really do want to travel with her, though. I mean, in Virtual Last Reward, I'm very famous for believing in other people and sticking with them. And she seems to know who we are. All right, I changed my mind. We're going to travel together because I'm going to believe in Kid and I'm going to believe that we can work together. Plus, I want to know how she knows me. And refusing her is not going to help us figure out who we are or where we are or when we are or whatever we are goes into this scenario okay kid let's go together beauty mate that decides it then we're real good mates now anyways it'll be getting dark soon i suggest we head to arnie and shack up for the night oh and uh search don't go trying any funny stuff just because I'm cute and all. Oh, I have a girlfriend. Well, technically, my girlfriend doesn't know that I exist. My girlfriend thinks that I died. Or... I don't know. My head hurts. Oi! Let's get our butts down to Termina. Alright, well... Oh yeah, mate. I nearly forgot. Let me give you this. It's a uh, teleporter. You'll be able to switch any party members from afar. A real handy gadget. All you have to do is... Ah, it's a pain in the butt to explain. Look it up in the menu. Search received a teleporter. Alright, we now have our second party member, you guys. And it is... Apparently a fire mage. Because she's loaded the bear with fire. It's like... Okay, let's give her electro jolt here. She actually has an open spot, so that works pretty well. Um, yeah, we'll give her Electro Jolt. And what we'll also do on my boy here is we're going to put Fireball here. So that way we can, um, you know, get that fire magic going faster. But if an enemy is strong against fire, we still have Photon Ray. Uh, so Photon Ray can be our, like, defense mechanism. Uh, if we look at who she is, uh, she is a Dagger Wielder. She's got Ivory Mail, which is better than what that is. And we can give her a helmet. And if we look at her stats. Look at her. She looks so cool, actually. Uh, she's a mysterious traveler who's 16 years old, female. Her origins are unknown. She's 5'5", 99 pounds, slender, and ambidextrous. Which we learned from Virtue Last Reward could also mean two-faced. So, kid, are you a friend or are you an enemy? I really hope you're a friend. I'm going to believe in you, kid. Uh, I'm going to show some optimism here that you're my friend. 
Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.